63% of Ukrainians ready to endure the war as long as necessary, survey shows. This post received a score of 11,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. At this point, there is probably not one Ukrainian family that has not felt sacrifice. Big surprise, they don't want it to have been for nothing. They have to consider what not fighting means too. If they could trust that peace meant instant admittance into NATO and EU with US troops on the ground then I'm sure the figures would look different. At this point it's clear that peace will mean time for Russia to rebuild its military power and invade the rest of Ukraine in a few years when the West will have turned its back. If there's a moment of peace for Ukraine then they should be admitted to NATO immediately on a some kind of probationary basis. That would give them instant NATO protection and then NATO could work out if Ukraine was viable for long-term NATO status. They should construct a nuclear weapon in any moment of peace. As Zelensky said, they have everything they need. That would mean immediate end of support from most of the West. Keep in mind that when Ukraine relinquished their nukes previously, it wasn't just Russia asking for it, it was the West as well. The US has a long history of aggressively trying to stop other countries from getting nukes. It also opposes South Korea getting nukes, which is in a similar situation. Nuclear non-proliferation is dead. I'm from Ukraine and people are tired of war. I think it depends on the region but most people in my region are tired and depressed and hopeless, and they just want it to end. Every time I talk to my dad about it, I moved away when I was a teenager but my whole family lives there. I just can't help but cry after. It's a shame we rely so much on American elections. It's a shitty situation. Russia is bullying its neighbor but realistically I don't see how Ukraine takes back the East or Crimea. Politically the West says they are behind Ukraine but such a position will depend on having a realistic plan with objectives to achieve it. Every day we read about more land Russia takes. Yes, Ukraine is inflicting heavy casualties and destroying many Russian vehicles but they still take land. Greater than yes, Ukraine is inflicting heavy casualties and destroying many Russian vehicles but they still take land. When World War I was ending, Germany was negotiating a surrender while the home front was collapsing in protests and strikes but the army was fighting on foreign soil. Nobody invaded Germany proper before the armistice. But they were losing ground constantly for two years. That's not the case for Russia. Don't want to be rude. But do you have any clue about World War I? In early 1918, Germany had just knocked Russia out of the war, and they were transporting all of their Eastern Front troops to the West. Also, they had their largest and most successful offensive of the war in the spring of that year. They still lost, because losing the will or the capacity to fight is what loses wars. Not losing ground. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.